Hello and welcome to HD Calcs. I'm Rick and in this video we're going to have a look at how to find trig functions on the TI-30XS multi-view calculator. In this video we'll be finding the sine, cosine, tangent, cosecant, secant, cotangent, and arc sine, arc cos, and arc tan of a degree. To do this we'll be using the mode key. It looks like this located here. The inverse key, it looks like this, located here. The toggle key that changes our answers from fractions to decimals, that looks like this, located down here. And the sine, cos, and tan keys, looks like this, located along here. The examples we'll be using will be in degrees, so we want to be sure we're in the degree mode. You can tell what mode you're in, up here on the top of your screen, it'll say DEG if we're in degrees mode. You can change your mode by pressing mode. And then this top line has either DEG, RAD, or GRAD for your different types of mode. If you're working in radians, you want to be in RAD. If you're working in degrees, you want to be in DEG. So we highlight DEG, press enter, and then we can clear out of this menu. To start, if we want to find sine of 30 degrees, you start with sine, enter the 30, and press enter. Now this calculator likes to give us fractions rather than decimals. So we have 1 over half, and we can convert that to a decimal if we want, but with the toggle key. There we go, we get 0 0.5, which is correct. Cos, we can do the same way. Cos, 30. Enter. Again, this gives us a fraction, which we can convert to a decimal with the toggle key. There we go. 0 0.8660, etc. And tan of 30. Again, tan 30. Enter. Again, gives us a fraction. And if we want this in a decimal rather than a fraction, we can convert. There we go. What about cosecant, secant, and cotangent? Well, to do that, there's no actual button on the calculator. What we have to do is inverse the corresponding sine, cosine, or tan. So for cosecant of 30 degrees, what we do is go sine of 30, solve that, and that, remember that gave us 1 over 2, or a half, and then we inverse that with the inverse key here, Press enter, and we see we get a cosecant of 2. For secant, we use cosine. So again, cos of 30 inversed gives us a secant of 1.1547, etc., which is correct. And cotangent uses tan. So we go tan of 30 and inverse to get 1.732 etc which is correct we can also use the arc sine arc cos and arc tan functions which are the second functions of these keys to take this question in reverse to go from the 0.5 and figure out how many degrees were used. For example, if we wanted to find the arc sine of 0.5 to figure out how many degrees were used, we would go second sine 0.5, press enter, and see this gives us a result of 30, which is correct. For arc cos, we would go second cos, there we go. And if we enter 0 0.8660, we see we get a result that rounds to 30 degrees. And arctan, if we enter 
and press enter. Again, we get a result that rounds to 30 degrees. Alright, I hope this helps, and good luck on those tests out there, everybody!